In this video, I'm going to show the Ubuntu and Ubuntu derivatives how to fix an app image that won't run after an upgrade. I just recently upgraded my Ubuntu Mate to 24.04, the long-term support, and I noticed that some of my app images wouldn't work like they used to on the earlier version of the long-term support of Ubuntu Mate. And what I realized was LibFuse2 got an upgrade to LibFuse 2T64, as you can see here, on and within my terminal. Now, uh, this is not for if you've done a fresh upgrade. I actually have some instructions down here if you've done a fresh install of Ubuntu Mate and they're not working. This is to a, if you've upgraded the top of it up here. Now, as you can see here, the image Imagine software that I have on my system, it just wouldn't run. And let me show you that for example. Let me go into my app images folder. And I'm going to minimize the browser in the background so we're not looking at too many things. Uh, to start with, here's the Imagine. I'm going to show you the land share, how it works by double clicking, and it should open up just like this. Uh, and I go ahead and close this out up here, quit, hit quit. So when I double click Imagine, it should load. Now, one of the things you want to make sure you're doing is go to Properties, go to Permission and it says allow executing uh, file as program so it should run so one of the things you can do to see why it's not running is open your terminal and I'm gonna first put the one that we did work the land share that was working I'm gonna drag it into my terminal and I'm gonna press the enter key and this will kinda tell you see this one works that's the way it should work by dragging it into your terminal press the enter it's gonna load it just like you did if you double clicked on it so let me hit quit and when you drag imagine into the terminal it will tell you what you need to do drag it into your terminal press the enter return key and it's going to tell you here it says fatal as setup id sandbox host the suid sandbox helper binary was found but not configured correctly rather than run it without sandboxing i'm aborting it now so what you really need to do is you need to run this right here as uh a sandbox no sandbox and the way that you can do that let me go back up and open in my terminal let me go back to my web page as you can see here this is the name of the app image I'm trying to load so I'm gonna copy all this right here I don't need the whole path and one of the reasons why is because I chose in the folder I said right click and open in terminal so my my current directory is the app image so I can paste this into my terminal I'm gonna put the dot means it's executable I'm going to put the forward slash and then the name of the file, which you can just simply copy that and paste it into your terminal. Put space dash dash no dash sandbox. And when I press the enter or return key, I'm now going to run the program, but I'm not going to sandbox it. Now, this is probably not safe for every single app image. You, you need to make sure that this is a trusted app image. And hopefully in the future, uh, the people that created the app, uh, Imagine software as an app image will update it to support the new uh, file that I showed you at the beginning of this video, which is that new file here. So if you're running an app image on your system, you're probably going to have to run it no sandbox until they get an upgrade version that works with the new file. So when you close this out, uh, you, it just told you basically there was one little thing right here. It says failed to access the no sandbox, but it actually did because you saw it running in the on my system now another way that you can fix this if you actually have uh, your applications in your menu so if I go up here and go to graphics I can go down to imagine click on that and in a few moments it will load as you can see here, it loads up just like it did when I drug it into the terminal so this right here will actually work the way that you can fix that is you open up your main menu and you you probably have something slightly different on your system uh, and within the launcher properties you're just going to basically put what applies to the application you're running you're going to set the type to application put the name of the of the app image you're trying to get stop installed on your system you're going to put the path of it you're going to in my case it's home my name your username and I created a folder called app images which are here so I'm going to include the app images as part of my file since I'm going to run it as an executable file, I'm going to use a dot in front of it, forward slash, then you just simply copy and paste the app image itself, the forward, the whole thing. Make sure where it's capitalized, you put capital letters because it is case sensitive. Then you're going to put space, dash, dash, no sandbox into that command line. Then you're going to put a comment if you want to, that's not necessary. And then the icon, if you click on that icon, I have an icon in that location. You're going to choose the location of where you have your icon on your system. When you hit close, 
it will apply it to whatever folder you applied it to. In this case, mine is the Imagine. Now, below here, if you've done a fresh install of Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate or any of the Ubuntu derivatives, it's 24.04. What you need to do is open your terminal. Now, this right here is versions 23.10 and older because the LibFuse 2 will still install on those, but LibFuse 2 will not install on Ubuntu 24.04 or newer versions. So what you need to do is just simply copy and paste this, put that into your terminal, press the enter key uh, or return key, put in your password and let it install. After you install it, you're going to right click on the app image, go to properties, make sure you choose allow executing, then by double clicking it should run and if it doesn't run, then you're going to have to run it as no sandbox up here. So hopefully if you've just recently upgraded your Linux system that uh, for those app images that are not working, now you know how to get them to working until the creator creates a new version or an upgraded version that works with the new file that is now in Ubuntu Mate or any of the Ubuntu derivatives or Ubuntu itself. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.